So, picture this. You're watching a movie and suddenly there's a seemingly random item, like a glowing toaster in the background. You think, hmm, that's quirky and move on. But guess what? That toaster isn't just a kitchen appliance. It's Chekhov's gun in action. Hello learners, I'm Prakriti Panda and welcome to the YouTube channel of the School of Communications, XIM University. In this lesson, we are diving deep into one of the most intriguing concepts of storytelling called the Chekhov's gun. So all the cinephiles and movie buffs, stick around. Chekhov's gun is like the ultimate rule book for storytellers. This theory is a fundamental principle in storytelling and it's named after Anton Chekhov, a Russian playwright. The rule is simple. If you introduce an element in your story, whether it's an object, a line of dialogue or even a character trait, it should have a purpose or significance later on. It's all about planting seeds of anticipation that grow into thrilling plot developments. Come on, Cap. Now, Chekhov's gun is the ultimate foreshadowing ninja move. Foreshadowing is a crucial method in storytelling, capable of appearing at any point within a script. However, it's often introduced early in a scene, sequence or the entire narrative. It involves dropping hints or indications that anticipate a future development. These hints can range from very subtle to blatantly evident but they carry a satisfying impact when viewers or readers identify them down the line. It's as if the storyteller is winking and saying, keep an eye on that toaster, my friend. It's not your average toaster. Oh, oh, baby. Let's start with the basics. In the late 19th century, Chekhov emphasized that every element in a story should serve a purpose. And he says, if you say in the first chapter that there is a rifle hanging on the wall, in the second or third chapter, it absolutely must go off. Perfectly encapsulates this concept. As time went on, the principle of Chekhov's gun gained traction among writers and creators worldwide. Authors like Agatha Christie and Arthur Conan Doyle mastered the art of planting seemingly inconspicuous details that later became pivotal plot points. The influence of Chekhov's gun extended beyond literature into the realm of visual storytelling. Filmmakers like Alfred Hitchcock used this principle to create suspense and tension, enhancing the audience's engagement. Remember the suitcase with money in Pulp Fiction? That's Chekhov's gun right there. In the digital age, Chekhov's gun continues to captivate audiences. Also, contemporary writers and creators employ this technique to surprise and satisfy their viewers. From the small screen to the bigger screens, the impact of a well-placed narrative element remains unmatched. So, let's take an example. Can a rock change your luck? The Oscar-awarded Korean thriller Parasite argues that it might. But not just any stone slab will do. Of course, it has to be a susok, a type of natural rock collected across Korea, China and Japan for centuries. The rock appears within the first 10 minutes of the tragic comedy when wealthy Minhyuk delivers a susok to the grimy basement apartment of his down-and-out friend Ki Woo and his family, the Kims. The stone here is said to bring material wealth to families, and it does. They straight up went from having no job and no food to working for the wealthy Park family, helping clean the house, driving and tutoring the children. The Susok reappears throughout Parasite during important plot points. The sculptural rock returns as a weapon as we watch the man hidden in the Park's bunker use it to smash Kiwu's head in over and over. <laughs> As I mentioned earlier in the video, Chekhov famously said that a gun appearing in the play's first act must be shot later, and Parasite's Soso would make Chekhov proud. Let's take 
Let's take another example. Breaking Bad is undoubtedly one of the world's most famous TV shows of all time, winning a total of 92 awards as a result of its brilliant plot, acting and cinematography. Breaking Bad also has many examples fitting the theme of Chekhov's gun. Throughout some of the earlier episodes of Season 2 of Breaking Bad, there are some shots of a pink teddy bear floating on the pool of Walter White's home. As we advance towards the latter half of the season, we see that the pink teddy bear came from an Albuquerque mid-air collision crash. This seemingly insignificant detail becomes a central symbol of the series, foreshadowing later tragic events. The bear is a visual representation of the catastrophic mid-air collision caused by the events set in motion by Walter's actions. Jane Margulis' father, who caused the plane crash, was devastated after his daughter's death and became absent-minded while controlling the air traffic control. Walter White deliberately let Jane Margulis die as she choked on her vomit as she overdosed on drugs. And I watched her die. So, why does this matter? Well, Chekhov's gun theory elevates your movie experience. It turns you into a detective, piecing together clues and feeling the satisfaction when things fall into place. By engaging you in the narrative, the filmmakers create a deeper connection that lasts long after the credits roll. Thanks for joining us on this enlightening journey into Chekhov's gun theory. If you enjoyed this exploration, like, comment and share this video. For more such videos, please subscribe to our channel. Happy learning!